Alright. So I just picked up this turbo elbow or turbo horn from Amazon Prime. Notice how it came to me packaged. Nothing too special. Box inside of a box. Just wrapped up. I'm going to drop a link in the description and when you click on that link you'll see this elbow and in the picture you'll see three machine screws that did not come with this. Uh, it's no surprise everybody in the review section said it does not come with screws and even more oddly all but one of those reviews is gone now. Um, there's only one review last time I checked and it just references the other reviews. Um, in a nutshell, people said this definitely uh, definitely increases the throttle response. Some people got a little bit better mileage, a little bit more power, and when I take the other one off, I'll do a little side by side. But this is a three inch inlet and outlet, mandrel bent all the way through. It's, uh, feels nice and sturdy. Looks like the right part, but I guess we'll find out when I put it on. So, next time you see this, it'll be on the truck. No, sorry, next time you see this, it'll be next to the one I took out of the truck. And then, uh, then I'll put it on the truck and let you know all the trials and tribulations. I hear these things are kind of a pain to remove the originals. Um, because the screws are really hard to get to. So if you do buy this and you don't want to use the original screws, you want to pick yourself up a set of stainless. I uh, read that people were using the M6 100 by 25 millimeter or by 50 millimeter. Um, I don't know which one of those will actually work, but I guess we'll find out when we take the original ones out. Uh, I didn't get a gasket for it. You can get gaskets for this. I'm just going to use some RTV sealant. Because uh, it doesn't seem like it needs to be... It doesn't need to be gapped or anything. You don't need a gasket to uh, create a space. You just need a nice tight seal. And RTV sealant it seems to work just fine for uh, people when they're installing these things. So. Let's get to it. Right. So we got it off there. You can see there's a difference in size between the two. Uh, this is a true three inch. See it has pretty crappy welds. So I'm gonna grind that down, make it all nice and smooth. But what do you expect for $48? Otherwise, though, it looks like it's a direct replacement. Same size. The boot fits nicely on this side. You can see the inlets. Same size. And then the stock tapers down to two and a half, and then even smaller on the outlet. These are the tools I used uh, to avoid taking off any alternators or AC compressors and disconnecting a bunch of crap. Just went ahead and used a bunch of extensions and taped this at a nice angle. It's all 10 millimeter. I used this to grab the screws and pull it out so that I didn't drop the screws in the engine bay. I'll show you how I use this one real quick. It's raining right now. Essentially, I'll just slide this through here. Just so that it lines up with that bottom screw. And back it out. And that saves you from dismantling any of any of these parts.
this out. I'm gonna put a little RTV sealant on here. Slap it in. See how it works. Well, we got it on. Wasn't the easiest thing. This uh, screw right here is kind of a bitch to get to, but it is not impossible. I'll use my pliers for a good part of it to kind of get it cinched down in the spot where get it cinched down, and then use this little 10 millimeter wrench to finish it off. Otherwise, just make that little extension I drop down the engine bay somewhere, and uh, you'll be in good shape. I'm going to go ahead and slap the rest of this together, and see what it do. And there she is. Got her all slapped back together. See if this thing will start up. Tools and shit. I didn't use all of it, but I brought extra pliers out just in case. Maybe if only need really needing the standard needle nose. Good. Check out the new 4 inch MBPRP or MBPRP, whatever the hell it is. It's awesome. Okay. Well. It works. It's a little wet and cold now, so I'm going to go inside and get cleaned up. Hope this video helps somebody. See you on the next one.